It all started in 1981 when the Bishop of the Diocese of Digos, the late Monsignor Generoso Caminha PME, invited the Benedictine Congregation of St. Utilian to establish a monastery in his young diocese as a spiritual center. The congregation, then headed by the Abbot Primate Emeritus Notker Wolf, sent a team of five monks, three Germans, two Koreans, to start a monastic foundation for Filipinos. In July 11, 1983, Saint Benedict's Monastery was officially opened. Our life here in the monastery is a life lived according to the gospel values, according to the teachings of the Lord. And we do that following the rule for beginners the rule of St. Benedict. In that case, all of us here are beginners in the way of life of Christ, the beginning of our life of selflessness and the life given for the good of others, just as Christ himself had taught us. Some of us here are priests and some are brothers, but our way of life, our monastic life, is a combination of active and contemplative elements in a way typical of our congregation. And this way of life requires a certain level of human and spiritual development. As a Benedictine monk, I try to live out what Saint Benedict states in his rule in chapter 48 that all things are to be done with moderation. Our motto, Ora et Labora, or Prayer and Work, speaks much of this particular Benedictine value. be content with living simply and finding balance with work, prayer, and leisure. Our life as missionary Benedictines is open to the outside world. With Benedictine hospitality, an age-old mark of Benedictine monasteries, people from all walks of life are welcome. those who are interested about monastic life, those who are looking for a place, for a deeper sense of fulfillment in life, we invite you to come to St. Benedict's Monastery and have a first-hand experience of life in the monastery. It is our hope and prayer that this experience 
will help unfold your direction in life. 